Dear student, this short video is to assist you assess your examinations on the MUCG Learning Management System, known as Moodle. Mr. Frederick Bruni will therefore take you through how you will take your exams using the MUCG Learning Management System. Hello and welcome to the session on how to access your examination on the LMS system. Now, first of all, you should have your institutional emails or school emails ready, activated, and have access to the LMS to be able to do this. First of all, you log in your username will be your institutional email with the password you created on the LMS. Now, when you log in, you will see this blank dashboard. That means that you have not been added to any course yet, which we are going to provide coupons for each and every student to access the examination. Now, these coupons will be generated for those who have paid their school fees fully and have registered. I repeat, the coupons will be generated for those who have paid their school fees fully and have also registered their courses. So if you know you've not done that, please, it is advised to do that before the day of the exams. So you, are not, you will be provided with the coupon in which you are going to use to register. And there's a section on your dashboard called the coupon block where you have to insert your coupon. So you insert it right here and click on submit. When you enter into your examination module, you are going to be presented with two activities, the essay type examinations and the multiple choice examinations. The first one being your essay type is where you are going to type the questions into a Word document and submit it to the system. So when you click on the first one, you should see the question in PDF here, which you click to download. Download. It downloads, then you can look at the questions and answer them in a Word document. Now you have a number of attempts here, and this is going to be your first attempt. The submission status says no attempt because you haven't attempted it or you haven't added any submission. The grading status is not shown because you've not submitted anything. This is the due date, the time remaining for the exams, then the comment on the submission. So if you have any comments on your submissions, you can put them here and save the comments. And right, now if you want to add the file, your answers, you click on submission. And these are the document types that you should save in. All right. So you put your file here, click on save changes, then So I click and drag my file and put them here like this. Or I can click on this add here and add the file here. 
Then when I'm done, I click on Save Changes. Now, when I click, it's telling me that the file has not been submitted yet. The submission status is draft because I have to wait for the due time before this submission will be submitted fully. So if you have any changes to make, you can go back and make your changes before the time is due for submission. So that is how to go about your typed examinations or your essay type examinations in the system. Now, when it gets to the multiple choice questions, section A. We have a number of attempts allowed, which is only one attempt. You see the time the quiz is open, the time the quiz will close, and the time limit for every attempt. So since you have just one attempt, you have 30 minutes to finish it. 30 minutes in this context as relating to this uh, So this is the section A part of your exams. You can see some instructions here that, you, that will inform you on how the quiz is. So you have just one attempt. You have the time in which the quiz was open. You have the, the closing time for the quiz. And you have the time limit for every quiz. So if you want to start, you just click on attempt quiz now. Then you have to go over this here, which is the quiz has a time limit of 30 minutes, which will differ depending on the exams type or the exams you are taking. This leads you to your section A part of the exams. To take the test, you have to click attempt quiz now to take your multiple choice exams. So you have the attempt, number of attempts here. You have the time the quiz was opened, the time the quiz will end, and the time limit for the quiz. So now let's start. You'll be prompted here on what your quiz, your timed quiz will do. So you say the quiz has a time limit of 30 minutes. Time will count down from the moment you start your attempt and must be submitted before it expires. Are you sure you want to start now? So we click start. Then our timer here starts counting down. So we can select our answers on the questions and if you want to skip you can go to the next page and choose a choice if you want to clear your choice if you selected there's a button and choose the one that you want you can go back previous to the one that you didn't select and choose the answer so you can go back and forth to choose answers or change your answers. So we finish the attempt and you can see our status here. So for our five questions, our answers were saved, but it has not been submitted yet. So since it has not been submitted yet, you can return to the attempt to change your questions if you want to. You can click on the question navigation to 
see the questions and if you want to change your mind you can so you finish the attempt and if you are done and satisfied you can submit all and finish so this will tell you that once you submit you will no longer be able to change your answers for this attempt do you agree so if you agree you click on finish submit all and finish and this is what you get so if you do this that means your exams is being recorded and marked so it shows you the time taken to finish the exams it shows you the grade of your exams so when you click on finish review you have your final grade here and you see how you did in your multiple choice exam it's instant grading so that is how to go about your examinations on the MUCG LMS.